Test one, two, three. Test, 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 test. One, two, three. Good to see everybody. We're going to let it breathe for a couple minutes. Let everybody come on into the live stream. How we doing? Julia, you are first. Welcome, Julia, on the screen. Thanks for tuning in right on time, 1 p.m. Mountain Time. Let me just make sure we're live on YouTube, Instagram. Haven't forgotten about you. Hope you're doing well out there in the Graham world. If you are on Instagram, is the audio just horrendous? Like, is it is it bad? Can you hear me? Because the phone is about three feet away. Nah, maybe two, two and a half feet away from me, all right? So if you can't hear me on Instagram, hop over to YouTube. It always sounds better. But I uh, hope you're doing well. Nonetheless, Ryan is in the house. Thanks for tuning in, Ryan. Hope you're doing well out there. Uh-oh, I see a Sam. Hello, Sam. Good to see you. And you know the drill. How you doing around the world? Where are you watching from? What what city? What state? What county? Where, where are you at? All right, what country? Uh, oh, my goodness. Good to see everyone coming on in here. Eileen's here. Welcome, Eileen. Good to see you, Stacy. David's always tuning in. What's going on? Hello. I don't recognize this name as much. Maybe a little bit. Hello, DGR. It says uh, TM. Well, let us know where you're watching from. Appreciate you taking the time to stop by and Instagram. Have forgotten about you either. Oh, Tommy's here. Oh, here we go. Had some appointment cancellations at just the right time. Excited to see the stream today. Welcome, welcome. I appreciate you taking the time to stop on by. Oh, it's good to see. Oh, be back in the studio doing shoe reviews. Hello. Nike Invincible. I don't even know if it. No, here's the here, here's the Invincible one. Where is the two? I'm not sure. That was uh, today's vlog. All right, this is the one. Love the one. Gotta say the the one was uh, that was a, was a good shoe. The, the the upper needs some help, but anyway, we are back to shoe reviews in the studio. All right, let's get some more folks on the screen. Hello, Henrik from Norway. See Chad Run from Colorado. Yes, indeed. Vero Beach, Florida for Chris. Hello, Chris. Um, hello from Greece. Hello, hello. Cologne, Germany. Yes. Oh, Katie, you're the best. Katie's always tuning in from Germany. Oh, my, my. And Alex. Let's give Alex a little cowbell. 16 months of membership. That's no joke, Alex. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Alex, for being a member for 16 months. I mean, that would have been summer 2021. You know, so it's a long time ago. So, Alex, you the man. Thank you so, so much. Arise Runs, hello from Switzerland. Hello from Ireland. Oh, a lot a lot of Europeans. Hello, Henry. Good to see you, Henry. What's up, James? Oh, James tuning in. Good to see you, James. Hi from Essex, UK. UK coming out strong tonight. And uh, you all know the drill. With respect to Discord, if you have questions, hop over to Discord if you want me to see them for sure in the live stream chat there. And on that note, just want to give a, a few shout outs real quick. All right, some new channel members since last week. Thank you so, so much. Way from Brooklyn, David Lenzini, A.R. Williams, Chally, Heather, Heather over in the UK, and Kaladin, uh, Kaladin, Kaladin. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Thank you so, so much for becoming members of the channel in the last week. Okay, Stacy's here from Ontario. And before I get too far along, how was your run today? I'll tell you how, I'll tell you about mine in a second, all right? How was your run today? Also, a big box just arrived from Sockety, all right? I, I, have, I almost looked, but I said I'm going to wait, all right? So we will open up that box here in a minute. But, uh, ooh, it was hard because it looks... Looks kind of like a high-end shoe from Sockety. So we will get that here in a minute. Hello from Greece. Houston in the house. Hello, how are you? Saying hi from Houston. Thanks for tuning in. Mike. Oh, that's Mike. Did you get a new profile picture? Snow, snowy Salt Lake City in the house. I think it's coming our way, Mike. It's on a, It's on its way to Colorado. So if it's snowing in Salt Lake, it's probably coming here pretty soon. Palm trees are blowing. Greetings from Florida. Run, Tommy. Okay. So, how was your run today? Let us know. Um, Clark says, no run today. That is, Thursday is usually my rest day. Good job, Clark. Listening to those legs, listening to the body. All right. And what shoe? I also want to rem remind everybody to share what shoe you ran in in case you did go for a run today. Okay? I'll just tell you now. Brooks Ghost 15 was my shoe today. Brooks Ghost 15. 
Okay, so that was my shoe for five miles. Easy day. I think I was about 8.45 a mile, just bopping along on the dirt. Even though it's a road shoe, I was, I'm trying to stay off the pavement and concrete as much as possible right now. So going to the dirt in the um, Brooks Ghost 15. So that was my shoe. All right, let's go, let's go. Uh, let's see, R2 says 50 minutes of steady today. Nice. Alex, Nova Blast 2 for him today. Ooh, just so you know, Asics Nova Blast 3 review is coming to the channel this weekend. So stay tuned. This weekend, it will be publishing very, very soon in case you're interested in the Nova Blast 3. Eric's in the house. What's up, Eric? What's up, DGR? And Seth, James Damore. 10 miler, easy at first, then last two to three miles at strong finish pace. Half marathon pace in the Hoka Tecton X. Boom. Thank you, Eric, for that Great synopsis. I love that. That's a good little write-up right there. Manxi says, taper week this week for me. Patience. What are you training for? All right. If anybody's racing this weekend, feel free to share in the chat. That would be cool. Ken says, did mile intervals in the Saucony Pro 1. Nice. Ooh, a throwback. There's a throwback shoe. I like it, Ken. I like your style. Um, hmm. So let's see. Eight miles in the Rebel V3. Very cool. Oh, see. That's probably going to be my next shoe that I test, or very soon. So I'm good to see uh, you got eight miles out of them in the Rebel V3. I'll be curious to see how they hold up for past eight miles. Let's say 10 mile. Yeah, I'm gonna. it'll be interesting. Oh, yeah, if you could hit that like button, I'd appreciate it. Let the rest of DGR know that we are, in fact, live here in the studio. Hit that like button. Let's get those likes going. All right, Dominic says, rest day walk slash hike today in Asics Glide Ride 1. Woo! Another throwback. Oh, man, you guys are going back a couple years here, and I like it. Okay, nice, Chris. Two runs today, one at midnight, one at 4 p.m. Oh, my, my. Hello, Christopher. What is on tap for you training at midnight? I like it, man, getting out there. I, okay, Chris, I'm going to, I'm gonna, Christopher, I'm going to challenge you. What headlamp or head torch, as everyone says, is that what you say over in Europe? What head torch did you wear at midnight? Or did you go real... Uh, I'll just say crate. No, did you? Were you bold enough to go without a headlamp? But let us know what headlamp or head torch you used at midnight. Caleb's in the house. What's up, Caleb? Okay, I'm just trying to make sure I'm getting as many as possible here. Chad Dogwood Canyon Trail Race 25K back-to-back -back challenge this weekend. Ooh, that's fun. So back-to-back -back days. So maybe Saturday, Sunday. Is that the idea there? Okay, Chad, that sounds excellent. Uh, very, very fun. Let's see, preparing for the easy day and then gym for the exercises from one of your late last videos. Dorothy, good. I hope those videos are helping. Uh, let me know. Yeah, Dorothy, that's great to read that some of those videos are helping. You know, whether it's working on running form, core work, uh, foot, you know, foot strength. That was one of my favorites was the foot strength one that I published maybe two or three weeks ago. Okay, so did let's see let's see okay well a couple more and then we're gonna dive in here today um okay ryan very good mm -hmm -hmm. all right all right jason lee runs just signed up for my first marathon next year the penine trail marathon in the uk fun 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 um so here oh yeah okay oh yeah i need your help i need your help dgr here we go could you let me know so we're planning and plotting for the DGR Distance Classic, all right? We had to forego it this year for different reasons, um, mostly because of Baby Kate, which is great, but we don't want to let the tradition die, okay? So the DGR Distance Classic is it well it started during the pandemic when remember oh my goodness it's i don't even want to think about it but what was it 2020 was it 2020 spring 2020 i think or was it 2019 anyway where all the races were canceled and so dgr rallied around the world it wasn't even, it wasn't my idea it was your guys's idea let's do a virtual race together and then we it was like well, of course we would do that because we're based on the internet, on YouTube, on Discord, on Instagram, wherever we're, wherever you're connected to DGR, it just worked out really well. So then we did it again the next year, and it allowed us to, you know, train together and race together. I realize we're not in person, but 
the connection that we built through these DGR virtual races, is, it was actually pretty special. Anyway, long story short, it's coming back in 2023, okay? We have the dates. I'm not going to announce them quite yet, but we're starting to figure out, okay, what's the swag going to be, all right? So uh, let me know in the chat, do you enjoy getting a medal from your races, whether it's an in-person race or a virtual race, all right? Like what's, you know, on a scale of 1 to 10, if you want to do it that way, like choose a number. Like do you enjoy getting a virtual or sorry, do you enjoy getting a virtual medal, <laughs> NFT? No, uh, do you enjoy getting a medal? I got to say, I actually, I keep all my medals, but in my entire life, I've been running for 22, 23 years. There's probably five, maybe six medals that I, I actually really enjoy having because it brings memories back of that moment, whether it was winning a race, whether it was you know, winning a national championship, whether it was not me personally, but as like as a team, whether it was, oh, so I do enjoy medals, but um, anyway, that's the question of the day during the live stream. If you could help me out because, and if you're watching this on replay later, let me know down in the comments, okay? Because I'm trying to figure out, okay, should we do a, a medal for the DGR Distance Classic in 2023? Sound good? Julia says, yes, I like medals. I'm with Caleb. And what did Caleb say? And I think I missed a super chat from the one and only. There he is. Dave in the house. Dave says, uh, today's run first since marathon was memorable. First time I've ever run without a weight or race goal off in the distance. No strings. Just ran for the pure enjoyment of it. SC trainer today, Dave. Thank you for the very generous super chat. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Pre appreciate you, Dave. Um, Dave just completed the New York City Marathon this past weekend, and it was his first marathon ever. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to see. Oh, did I? Petzl in orange. Okay, so that was the uh, head torch comment. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate it. Uh, the Swift RL. Gosh, love it. Medals and shirts equals 11 out of 10, says Caleb. Very cool. Medal for sure. Okay. Okay, eight for the senior grand master runner, Dan. I prefer merchandise, shirts, and jackets. Okay, I like the t-shirts more since I can wear them more often. Very good. Medals are fire. Okay, I'm with Caleb, says Dave. Um, Seth, what about a jacket similar to Boston or New York City? That would be pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, let me make sure I'm not missing anything over in Discord. Looks like we're good there. Okay, Brendan says, I love the medals. It's a reminder of the work you put in, and it's a nice collector's item. 100% agree. Um, I do enjoy the medals. The memories are the best part. Amen. Interesting. Okay, this is good. Hopefully, I, I didn't lead the witness in asking that question by sh sharing about my connection to medals. And listen, li listen, I've got some medals that I'm like, ah, you know, just like some races that I just jump in and it's like a local 5K. And, you know, I, I don't have like a strong like I didn't really train for the race. It just was kind of maybe like a fun race. But there are moments where. Okay, Dorothy says, yes, medal and a technical t-shirt. Ooh, good, good insight there. Um, okay, as a new runner, I love medals. 10 out of 10, yes, medal for sure. And sure. Okay, well, there you go. All right, it seems like it's pretty conclusive, but I will be interested if you are watching this on replay to, um, to read your comments down below. Hmm, it's, oh. anyway. We're plotting, we're planning, we're striving, we're not giving up, you know. 2022 was an interesting year for me personally um, as far as the injuries concerned, but I do believe we're going to come back stronger in 2023. Okay, you guys are amazing. Like the medal, I mean, just, oh my goodness. Mm, like the medals, a shirt is a shirt. Medals last for a lifetime. There you go. And this is interesting, Scott. This is kind of a, a little different take. I wish to donate some of my medals, perhaps to kids. That's an interesting take. I don't know how you could ever do that. I agree, Scott. Like sometimes you get medals and it's like, whew, there's a lot of medals and just over in that closet. I probably should have brought some out. Oh, should I go grab the DGR Distance Classic one from last time? Anyway, we'll do that another day. It's an interesting idea. It's, you know, like, um, I don't know, somewhere. Yeah, I don't know how you'd go about that, Scott, but that's a interesting idea. Okay. Uh-huh. Very good. I like when races make the medals optional. Okay, there you go, Chris. Love medals. I'm run in the Dutch. 
national team. Wow. Sadly, I've shin splints. So last week I had a 5K, had to run it easy, but it's still finished first. Finish. Oh, nice work. 15 years old, still a good time. No PR. Nice work, man. 1810 as a 15 year old. Good work. Oh, that's uh, that's awesome. Okay. Moving on to today's focus of the live stream are challenges. And I will open up, I will open up this shoe in about five, five minutes. Let me just share a few thoughts here. So, you know, I'm an optimistic person, try to stay positive, even through the challenges of being a runner and, you know, you know, balancing that with life. Uh, it's, I know all of you, Instagram, you too. Uh, I know all of you have your personal challenges. And even though I try to, you know, help Maybe help you get out the door every now and then with a little doorknob or whatever the case may be, continuing to chase down your PRs, chase down your age division records or age division podiums or um, OTQs. Yes, there's some people that watch the channel who are still tra- you know, striving to, uh, to chase down OTQs, and, but at the end of the day, it's not all it's not all puppies and uh, puppies and rainbows all right there's there's hard moments out there where you got to ask you I ask myself like what am I doing out here this is hard this training is hard and so for me coming back from this sacrum stress fracture if you're new welcome by the way and let's just uh, take this off the screen real quick um, if you're new I got a new I had a stress fracture from July till basically October. And it was really a reality check on a lot of things with respect to my running goals and my training. Uh, but coming back from the injury, I said this on Discord today, like the rebuild for me is just as fun as the finish line. Like that rebuild process where you're like, ah, lost my fitness, legs are not as strong as they used to be, uh, lost, you know, my core, like the strength in my core, like it's, 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 it's a rebuild. It's a complete rebuild and we're getting ready for 2023. And so for me, managing my time better now, you know, it's like when you're not running and you're truly injured, like I was on crutches for three and a half weeks. I, like I couldn't do anything. It was really, I, I did, but, but, but it gave me more time in my day because I wasn't out running in the mountains for two or three hours at a time. Um, so now that's one of my challenges is coming back, uh, is managing my time. Uh, leg adaptation. So, I, you know, I'm back. It's I, I do believe it's truly healed, but it's it's the legs are adapting. They're readapting to you know swimming and biking. It's good. It's good cross training aerobically, but it's nothing like running. I mean, yeah, you can get strong legs from, from but even look at like um, when Lance Armstrong ran. You know, he you know obviously he had his 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 issues but uh when you see professional cyclists try to transition to like marathon running it's usually a little rough usually they end up injured uh shin splints it's just a different type of exercise so that's another challenge i'm going through right now is readapting uh the legs to the i'll just call it the pounding and the getting out there and uh letting the muscles and the tendons absorb the training okay and last but not least is the discernment for 2023. I'm you're live here. I'm not afraid to call myself out. Trying to chase down Rotterdam and Zegama was too much. I I, I think I've said that before, but if not, you're hearing it here first in the studio. Chasing down a road marathon in Rotterdam and then also Zegama in the same three to four month period, it didn't work out. So at least for me. So those are my challenges as far as discerning, okay, what is going to be the future of um, racing in 2023. Now, what about you? What are your challenges? This is a little bit of a, you know, maybe a vulnerability moment here in DGR, but that's what we do here. DGR strong, not afraid to call myself out, not afraid to hold each other accountable. That's what these, you know, part of what these live streams are for. The question of the day in the vlogs is just really kind of pulling back a little bit, you know, specifically mentally and being like, okay, am I on the right path here? Or do I need to adjust some things in my training, in my sleep, in my races that I'm doing? It's, you know, maybe shoe choice, whatever the case may be. So let's hear it. If you care to share in the chat, 
um, any struggles you are going uh, going through right now. Mm-hmm. What's going on? Okay, I'm, I'll just let them. I'll let, I'll let them. Um, I'll let them percolate in the chat as we're going here. And um, shall I open that up? All right, let's just get a few on the screen first, real quick. Hello from Dublin. Thank you, Fergal O'Leary. I like that. That's a great. That's a. Uh, that is an Irish name. I like it there. Okay, here we go. Mm hmm. It'll be um, so the DGR virtual race will be virtual, and maybe one option in person. Obviously, like you know, we're all around the world. So if you all want to fly to Denver, you're welcome. But uh, I'm not expecting that. So no, definitely virtual, and then perhaps a 5k in Denver. But you know, you gotta get things lined up for that as well. Uh, Alex says I need to sleep more. Feeling very unrecovered or on morning runs. There you go, Alex. I know it's that's a big one. I'm in the same boat. Just kind of a little better time management in the evenings so that I can wake up in the mornings. Um, I hear you, Julia. Balancing running with work and graduate school. Whoa, has been hard. In days I have workouts, I have no energy for anything else. Woof, Julia. Wow, grad school. No joke, right there, Matt. I'm currently without a race, and I'm a little lost with my training. Just kind of ticking off miles, but not sure if I'm improving a ton. There you go, Matt. Yep, it's that's where it's good. Um, it's good to have those goals, and it's figuring out, okay, how far out do I need to plan those goals? So, yeah, Matt, I, I hear you there. I really need to eat better food. There you go. Peter says, I wanted to race Marathon du Mont Blanc uh, in 2023, but unfortunately, I was not lucky in the draw lottery. Ah, interesting. Yep. Training for a 50K with plantar fasciitis and knee issues. Ooh, man, Paul, 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 Paul. I'm sorry. That's uh, that's hard. That is hard. I don't know if you're going to try and push through. Kind of sounds like you are. Um, Yes, Stacy. Oh, my goodness, Stacy. So, so sorry. Uh, trying to come back after two strokes this year. Legs are willing, but my balance is still an issue. Wow, Stacy. Wow. We're here for you, Stacy. And um, gosh, I mean, that's a obviously a very serious health issue but sounds like you have a positive attitude about it all and uh you know balance i'm sh you know i don't know if like yeah anyway physical therapy if they could help with balance i'm sure you're doing everything you need to to um to come back from that oh my goodness stacy Clark, honestly, my biggest challenge is saying goodbye to the good running weather and having to run, turn the doorknob in the dark and cold. Who else is struggling with that? Clark, Clark, Clark. That is a great one. Really good one. And that's where, I mean, I'm just going to say it right now. Depression in the winter doesn't, you know, it, it, from everything I read, depression just goes up because it's shorter days. It's darker out. You're not getting fresh air. The sun is, you know, the sun... I don't know. It just I, I I I read about it, and so that's the gift of running is that if we can stay p consistent through those darker winter months, so key. And again, I'm not an expert on seasonal depression. I guess I think is what it's it's called, but uh, I think that's the beauty of sticking together here on YouTube and uh, holding each other accountable and inspiring each other to uh, to keep working through these winter months. Um, Isaac had issues during the summer upping mileage too much. I upped by like 10 a week, which was not smart. Yeah. Yep. Uh, hopefully it didn't lead to an injury, but I hear you there. That can, that can definitely be, I can definitely lead to an injury or lead to, to burnout. Oh my goodness. There's so many. Thanks guys for just, I wasn't sure how this would go today because it's a little bit of a not as uh, exciting topic because we're, you know, but it's calling ourselves out. So I appreciate you being a little, like truly being a little vulnerable on the interwebs and just because I guarantee you there's other runners who are like, oh yeah, I know exactly what Chris is talking about or Isaac or whoever, you know, uh, Peter. So anyway, Chris, thank you. Patience as a runner has always been a struggle for me. The training block, keeping my paces versus trying to race everyone on Strava. <laughs> Got to watch that Strava. Yes, indeed. Um, let's see. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Okay, Andy became a new dad earlier this summer. Harder than I anticipated to carve out time for me and my runs. Recovery time is non-existent. There you go. That's life. Right, Andy? Congratulations, by the way. That's very exciting. And um, 
it does get easier. I will say that much, Andy. Uh, but it takes it just takes t- it takes time. Okay. Oh man. <laughs> what up, Scotty? Okay. I guy I I can't get to all of them. Um. Um. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm trying. Yeah, I can't read all of them. Probably. Thanks for sharing. If there's one that I really miss that you think I should try and pull out. I, um, definitely let me know. Okay, let's open the shoes real quick here. Uh, unless they're, again, thank you guys for just being a little vulnerable. And, um, I mean, again, for me, it hurts. And I, I, I have found if you're just starting to run or you're coming back from an injury, if you can get through those first four weeks and really those first six weeks, four to six week window, you're going to make it. Like right now, you know, I'm just like, okay, this is not comfortable. But that's, I know if I stay with it through these, you know, these next two to three weeks, especially between now and the end of November, I know it's going to be easier in, in December. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, okay. Yeah, Aaron, Aaron, uh Thank you there, Aaron, for sharing. Okay, here we go. And, um, okay, ready? All right, here we go. So I don't know what's in here. Um, I don't know. But this box just arrived, so I figure why not? Let's open it up live in the studio with everybody. One, two, and a three. Oh, not what I expected. Wow. Okay, the Saucony Exodus Ultra. Wow. Okay, very, very interesting. Whoa, trail shoe that um, has GT Gore-Tex on the uh, upper here to keep that sludge out through the winter. Wow, there, look at that. Those lugs are pretty serious. Okay, kind of like a winter basically running shoe. Power Run, I believe it's Power Run PB midsole. Very interesting. Again, not what I expected in a jet black. Very with a little little colorway there. Okay. Um. Very good. Okay. Any last questions for us before we wrap up today's live stream? You can ask me. You can ask the DGR family who's watching right now. Get those questions rolling in. Uh, thanks for taking the time, everybody who was uh, here to uh, share your stories about some challenges that you've been um, going through. And I'm just trying to stay patient, stay patient. Um, let's see, let's see. Oh, yeah, that's right. That is right. Senior Grandmaster has put up a GoFundMe for Stacy, who they've been DGR members um yeah, for a long time. So both of you, Dan and Stacy, love you guys. And um, yeah, so Stacy, again, keep us posted on your progress as you come back from uh, both of the uh, strokes just this year. Oh, my goodness. Okay, here we go. Um, Chris, when do you think you'll choose your 2023 races? I would say, I mean, I bet... I pretty much have them chosen, except I haven't, you know, the registration is not open yet. But, um, yeah, I would say in the next three to four weeks, you know, I'm waiting for a couple, you know, the, uh, some of them are still they haven't announced yet as far as the dates for 2023. So um, good question there. Uh, how is Kate? Kate is great, Julia. Kate is growing. Um, gosh, yeah, she's sleeping like a champ. Yeah, best sleeper out of all the kiddos. So that is really, really a gift for us. That is for sure. So yeah, Kate is a champ and um, believe it or not. So she's four months and I didn't, you know, but pretty soon we can introduce some, you know, blended up food for her, which blows my mind. I didn't think it was quite that time, but I think in the next like three to four weeks we could introduce some um you know blended up peas and carrots if we wanted so that's pretty 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 uh exciting times for us okay here we go um cs wells i always wonder okay i always wonder how um you look at that hair 
that, that, I like it. Um, let's see. Okay. I always wonder how you try such a variety of shoes without having problems where they hurt your feet because I seem to need to be way more picky. Do your feet just get tougher over time? Um, yeah, that is interesting. I would say, yeah. I mean, listen, if I wasn't doing running shoe reviews, I probably wouldn't be testing, you know, running in so many, but you know, like I love zero drop for recovery days and the wide toe box for recovery days. Um, I have been running for a couple decades, so I think that helps. I've also learned as I get a little bit older to try to be a little more efficient in my stride, which impacts the foot strike. So I think that helps as well. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm not sure if that really answers your question, but there are, I will say, C.S. Wells, um, good to see you in here, by the way. I definitely recognize your name, not the hair, but your name. I love it. Uh, is that there are some shoes where I'm like, uh-uh, see ya. No way, Jose. I'm not going to even, you know, put them on the internet because they're not, they're just, they just, I know they're not good shoes, uh, whether it's the upper, whether it's the ride. So good question. Appreciate it. Okay. Mm -hmm. let's go let's go her first meal should be a bobo there you go I'm not sure if the doctor would approve of that but um, there we go okay I'll just say when will your next ultra be 2023 see Chad run oh that's the only way I can answer that um let's see looking at more trailer road races for next year I'd say trail, Matt, if we're going to call it as it is, call balls and strikes here in the studio. Yes, indeed. Aiden, I'm struggling with finding a training plan and coach after my high school cross country season ended. Yeah, sorry. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know what your goals are, but, you know, definitely keep us in the loop as far as, you know, as you discover you know, like an in, I, I, the first thing that came to mind was if there's an indoor track team in your area, um, might might help you turn that doorknob through the winter months. Oh, sorry, I um, yeah, not of more help in that respect. Okay, onward we go, Scotty. UTMB, uh, not quite, not quite, but um, you know, I might find myself in Chamonix for something in 2023 i don't think it'll be utmb though um mm -hmm -hmm. onward we go all right we're gonna call it there i wish we could keep going but uh the day is a calling gotta edit that vlog and we will see you guys tomorrow morning at 5 a.m thanks for checking out the live stream today and again thank you for voting about the medals appreciate that a lot that helps me just kind of figure out you know what the um what the sentiment is around the world for racing medals. All right. Um, I almost did this. We're going to toss it to this, but guess what? That's not what we do in the, in the studio. All right. Seek beauty, work hard and love each other. We'll see you tomorrow. 5am.